Hospital procedures for Ebola are now under review after a nurse in Dallas becomes the first person in the U.S. to contract the disease. As CBS 2's Matt Kozar reports, health officials are not sure how it happened. The nurse is now a patient. 26-year-old Nina Pham came down with a fever two days after the Liberian man with Ebola she was caring for died. Hazmat teams decontaminated her Dallas apartment. We have to rethink the way we address Ebola infection control because even a single infection is unacceptable. The CDC's director suspects Pham may have gotten infected when she removed contaminated protective gear. Doctors from North Shore LIJ say it's a dangerous process. When you remove the suit, if you accidentally touch something on the outside of the suit or on the outside of your gloves with your hands or some other part of your skin, then the virus can be on you and then that's how it can be transmitted. Because of this case, Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital is now requiring doctors and nurses to supervise each other as they suit up or remove gear. Meanwhile, fear of the virus continues to spread, especially among air travelers. On Monday, hazmat crews in Boston responded to five passengers with flu-like symptoms on an Emirates flight, but officials say none had been to West Africa. Half of the world's Ebola cases are in Liberia, where churchgoers are now washing their hands in chlorine bleach before going inside. Well, there's very strong stigma against people who have either had Ebola infection or anyone else in their family has, or if you work in an Ebola treatment center like this one. Officials are monitoring 50 people who nurse Nina Pham had contact with prior to contracting Ebola. She remains in isolation, but her father says she's in good spirits. Reporting live in the newsroom, Matt Kozar, CBS 2 News. Matt, thank you.